Hi, I'm Derek Hope with Reasoning Mind, and I'm here with Dr. Po Shin Lo, who is a professor of mathematics at Carnegie Mellon University in Pittsburgh. Uh, Dr. Lo is also the national coach for the U.S. Math Olympia team, which just won two back-to-back first-place finishes, breaking a 20-year losing streak. Dr. Lo is also the founder of an education technology platform called XB.com, which gives free math lessons and puzzles geared toward middle school and high school students. So Dr. Lowe is in town in Dallas today uh, as a, one of our keynote speakers for a conference, uh, and he was kind enough to give us some extra time uh, to ask him some questions about math. So let's talk about uh, XP.com. First, I guess, tell us how it works. Great. So um, I have a personal goal which I'm trying to achieve, which is um, I like multiplying. So I'm trying to multiply the number of people worldwide who like math and science, math and science, by 10. That's sort of my life goal. We'll see, we'll see how far I get on that. But um, when that became my life goal, I started to think, how can you achieve this? And I decided to go through the technology route. And furthermore, using the technology route where we're assuming that many people in the world now have personal internet devices. There will be 2 billion of these in the world, I think by the end of this year, maybe by the end of next. So then this caused us to rethink, how, how would you reinvent the way somebody can learn if they have a, a, an internet device one-on-one? And we, we didn't dare to uh, work on the younger ages, which is what you guys are specializing in. That takes a lot of uh, background and understanding. We decided to work from sixth grade up, essentially. And what it is now is um, it's two things. One thing is, uh, is, is to increase interest in mathematics, because I think that's essential. Uh, the second piece is a tool which if somebody is interested in learning uh, will help to guide them through, to direct them to the correct lessons, sort of the, in the same way that a GPS mapping device works, like a Google Maps works, uh, in the sense that if you're trying to learn, say, algebra, you would be able to program it to go towards algebra, and it would adaptively route you through questions and lessons as you go. Um, the whole system is free because this was part of the, the goal to boost the world, and at that point, um, we, we thought it would be most effective if there wasn't, if there wasn't a price attached. But put together, this, this, this part with like these uh, increasing interest in math, that's actually through these five interesting math puzzles a week, which we released through there. When you put together boosting interest together with a tool, the hope is that together we'll be able to have a way to help everyone, I guess, learn more mathematics in a way that's interesting. Um, again, picking up basically from you guys, where you guys leave off. Mathematicians tend to think about math maybe a little bit differently than the average person who either doesn't like math or didn't study it beyond what they had to in grade school. So how would, what does math mean to you? What what is it? Uh, You know, I'm sure it's not just arithmetic, it's, it means something more. So tell us what that is. Yeah, just to put it really concisely, I would say that math is creative thinking. Creative thinking and problem solving in a quantitative analytical environment. I often look at the world, I mean, even if I look out the window and think about traffic on the freeway, I might actually try to understand what's causing the traffic on the freeway. And when you look at it this way, you're not doing any arithmetic necessarily. You will eventually, but it's not just an arithmetic problem. You're trying to figure out what to arithmetic, what what, what to add, what to subtract, multiply, and divide. Mm -hmm. And I find that certain mindset very interesting. And basically, even now every week, essentially, I look at some aspect of the world and try to find out where is the mathematical insight in there? And if I can find it, I'll share it with the world. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So the creative, creative thinking is, is kind of a central at the top levels of math, and you are the national coach for uh, the U.S. Olympia team. So tell us what that's like. What is your role, really? Um, how do these kids, how do we find them? Um, and what is sort of the impact uh, of the competition on their lives from, from then on. You got it. So this is, this is a competition for which in the United States, the participation is run by the Mathematical Association of America, which is a, a nonprofit in DC, which manages all of these things. Um, my role with them is I'm basically just the national cheerleader of the United States team. I, I say that because the students are incredibly good. And essentially, by the time I meet them, they're they have to be better than me or else we'll do horribly at the the actual contest. So um, I actually often travel around the country and I try to work on ways to promote interest in mathematics so that we'll have more people entering to these selection competitions which are run by the Mathematical Association of America. For example, at the first round there are several hundred thousand students who will participate in something called the AMC 
12 or AMC 10 American math competitions. Uh, and, and as they pass through these selection rounds, we ultimately find out who are the six who are going to represent the US. Along the way, though, many, many people get exposed to non-routine creative problem solving through these competitions. And I think that that helps to show them that math is more than just doing a test, like a normal routine test. And the impact on the actual people themselves? Well, first of all, as people get to see these creative puzzles, creative problems, I think that improves them. But also at the, I guess at the, at the highest extreme levels, when people start to come together for training camps, you bring together people who have similar backgrounds in terms of interest in mathematics, possibly very different backgrounds outside of mathematics, but then that creates friendships and partnerships and collaborations that last a lifetime. And eventually many of them work together to help create further innovations for the world. Now, I know you have to get to another event tonight. What, tell, us, tell us about that, because it kind of fits into one of your goals of, of being a math evangelist. <laughs> Right. So um, I happen to be in Dallas because you, you are organize, organizing this interesting conference here. And my philosophy is if I go into a city, if I have some time, I try to offer a talk for any interested high school or middle school students uh, about mathematics. So there, there are some people who have organized. This is actually organized by something called the Awesome Math Academy. It's, I think they're based um, up a little bit higher, but just in, in, this, in, this, in this higher, meaning more north, mm -hmm, in this, in this mm -hmm. metro area. And so I'll be at UT Dallas. Mm -hmm. And there will be several hundred students who will come tonight to, to talk, to listen to some talk. Um, I'll be talking about some problems that at first don't look mathematical. Uh, one of them will look like a memorizing problem, but it will turn out that it's directly related to some information about uh, something about binary, math, bi mm -hmm. binary arithmetic. Mm -hmm. But we'll also actually talk about some of these interesting math puzzles, such as the one that I uh, discussed at, at your conference earlier today. These are the ones which are trying to highlight some interesting insight about the world that you might get if you think mathematically. Mm -hmm. That's great, Bill. That's, that's really cool that there are, I think, maybe 200, 300 people. Yeah, uh, yeah. Something like that. Going to show we'll up. See. That's wonderful. Um, well, I know you're pressed for time, so we really appreciate you sitting down and coming uh, today for the conference. Um, so thank you, uh, Poe, and we'll see you around. Great.